Using a digital calipers is actually pretty easy. First thing you want to do is make sure you're in the correct units. If you look up here, this says millimeters, and I can switch it to inches. I can also switch it to fraction inches. In other words, where it'll show it as a fraction, a 64th and so forth. So for the fidget spinner activity, we're going to be in millimeters. So we want to click on that until it says millimeters. Now, I have the jaw closed all the way. To move the jaw, I just spin this little dial here. And if it shows zero, great. But sometimes it'll be off a little bit when you close it. Oh, there it goes. And it doesn't want a zero. Now hit zero, and it zeroes it out. To measure, I'm going to take the bearing out. Make sure it's zero. Make sure it's in millimeters. Just open it up. And I'm going to close it just slightly, <clears throat> just until it touches, just like that, 21.96. For the fidget spinner activity, we're going to actually use 22. We're going to give it a little bit more so that we can be sure that the bearing will fit inside of the fidget spinner. Also, we're going to do the thickness of the bearing, just like this. And it shows it's at 6.99. We'll round that up to 7 since it's so close. So we'll go 7 millimeters for the thickness. One other handy function of this is to be able to <clears throat> uh, measure the inside of a hole. With this side here, all I do is I put this inside like that, and it tells me 7.97, or probably closer to 8 millimeters. So that's the digital caliper, very handy tool.